In Revit, when you place a view onto a sheet, it automatically generates a view title. So let's do that now. So I've got this sheet open. This is the standard default Autodesk uh, drawing template. So let's go ahead and put an elevation on. So single click, drag, place the view onto the sheet. So I zoom in a little bit. There's our view. And here is the view title. This is the subject of this particular tutorial. So you can see the view title, or this particular one, contains the drawing number, or the view number on this particular sheet, the detail number, the view name itself, and the scale. And we've got a line there. So let's look at what we can do with this. If you select the view title itself, you can reposition it independently of the view. Notice the auto alignment lines, it'll help you line it up. We can shorten the line itself. To do that, it's a little bit counterintuitive, you select the view rather than the view title. So let's select the view and you can see now that we get a grip on the end of the line. We grab that grip, hold with the left mouse button and we can adjust the length of the line. Now, view titles are a, a sort of hybrid system family. They're generated in the system, but they actually use a family here, component family, um, to determine the information that goes on. So what you can actually do with the view title selected, you can pick different types, just like you would with any other Revit family. So there's um, four different types here, predefined by Autodesk. So one with no title at all, title and no line, title, no line, with detail reference, and then back to what we had before. Nothing stopping you at all in creating your own additional types, so just hit edit type, duplicate, you'd give it a new name, and these are the things that you can actually change, so the line pattern, the colour, um, whether you want to see the extension line, whether you want to see the title, and then the actual family that's used to pull the parametric data uh, out of the view. So I'm just going to cancel that for a second. Another way to hide the view title if you don't need to see it on a particular sheet is to use the visibility and graphics overrides. So very, very useful um, keyboard shortcut in Revit is VV. So I'm going to press that now, VV brings up the visibility and graphics override panel. Now if we go to annotation categories and we look down near the bottom we've got a category for view titles, we can just turn that off, hit OK and it disappears. Just going to bring that back up, VV again, to show you how that works, annotation categories, turn that back on, hit OK. Now, the, the actual name of the view, it is picking up from the uh, project browser, if you like. So the view that's in there, if we open that elevation, it has been named south. So we, of course, as you know, we can rename it by right clicking on the name, rename and give it a new name. But what if we want to keep the name of the view the same in the project browser? So in this example, south but we actually want to display a different name here when that view arrives on the sheet. We can actually do that quite easily. So let's go back to the view itself, the south elevation, and with no objects selected, if we look at its properties, and we go towards the bottom, there is a parameter there called title on sheet. Now by default, it's blank. So with it being blank, it will take the title of the view and put that against the view title when it's on the sheet but we can put whatever we want on here so let's call this south elevation one notice the view name in the project browser stays the same but if I go to the sheet it's changed there so probably just want to lengthen that line 
neat that up. Now, if you want to get into actually editing what information is displayed here, remember it's pulling this information from the view. Think of the view as an object containing its own parametric data. That this is just really just a tag that's pulling some of that information and placing it onto the sheet. So if we pick the view title, now if we edit type, you can actually see that the title family is called Anno View Title Standard. So if we go back to our project browser, towards the bottom you'll find a tab called Families. This is a list of all the families used in your current project. So if we scroll down, we can actually see Anno View Title and the different options there. You can go and take one of those and if you right click and edit, will actually open the family editor and there you will see the parametric labels where it's pulling the data so you can click on one of those so that one is view name hit edit label so currently that particular piece of information is the parameter view name and it's putting it into that family but here on the left hand side you can see a list of all the relevant uh, parameters available to the view type so we can bring detail level the detail number what discipline it is what phase it's on etc so you can swap those out to display different information about your view when it arrives on the sheet i hope you enjoyed this revit architecture video if so please hit the like button if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released please subscribe to this channel and to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.